Hey guys, what's up? So today I have a tutorial for you. It is on my hop combo. This trick is pretty simple. It's not too hard. I did update it so it does look a little different now. So, so this trick consists of a lot of hops, which is pretty good for contests, depending on the country you're in. Honestly, that doesn't matter, believe it or not. So, let's get right into the tutorial so you guys can learn how to do this. So the first part, you're just going to go into a trapeze, simple trapeze, and then if you want to, this is step is not necessarily needed, you're going to double, you can double on. Just to make it give it more momentum, you just can go like that, and then it sway, and then you can do the trick. So, you can double on, you're going to sway, just swing it over, and then what, what you're going to do with this part, when you swing it over like this, you're just going to swing it like that. Uh, mine is clockwise, for varieties it would be counterclockwise. Um, like that. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to put your thumb in front when you swing it. Because when you're swinging it, you're going to just want your thumb on this. So you're going to let it go. See, the part the string you're going to let go is this string right here. You're just going to let it go. And see how it kind of just swings back over there? There. So when it's just, see, it's just on my thumb. Let's swing it over and put your index up so it can go under. And you're just going to undercut it. So after you undercut the trick, the string, you're going to go one. Undercut it, you're just going to let the thing go. You're going to pop it up a little bit so it gives it a little more flash. And then you're just going to undercut it again. So like this. Oops. Get this here, it wasn't spinning very fast. And then you're just going to go into like that. You're just going to go into one and a half now. The next part you're just going to do is you're going to pop it back. It's going to be the same thing as this one, but you, you don't have a wrap here, and it's just going to be Houdini now. So the next part, you're going to double on and double off again. And then you're going to pop it up, and you're going to do a Quiji bow. So, oops. You're just going to pop it, do a Quiji bow. If you guys don't know how to do Quiji bow, there's a lot of tutorials on the site. So you're just going to pop it, and then it's like the one and a half, not one. You're just going to add it there. Okay. That, and the next part's somewhat hard if you don't understand what I'm talking about. So after you do the after you do the hops part, and you're here, you're gonna pop it back up. And what you do, you're gonna undercut the same string. So you do it again. From this point of view, it works. You do my old one. So there. You're just going to pop it up and you're going to undercut the same string. So you're in the brother now. The next part, you're just going to pop it over and go into a double or nothing like that. It's pretty simple. So... Well, let me get into the part. So uh, when you're in the double or nothing, you're going to pop it back into the same place. You're going to pop it back to the beginning mount. And then you can go to a brother. The next part is pretty, it's a lot, that's weird. So you're going to do a Quiji bow kind of again. But when you pop it, you're just going to hit the string like that. Just hit it. And then throw it back in the air. So let me demonstrate it a little better. You're just going to hit it. And then just line it into a trapeze. So let me go through a little quick recap. Go there. Do the undercut. Do the thing. Throw it out. Double on. Double on is not necessary, but I like to do the double on. And you're gonna do a Quiji bow, you're gonna get out of the Quiji bow, you're gonna go back to a double or nothing. There, or this is a triple nothing, not with a Houdini mount. There, back into the same place, go into a double, a Houdini mount, to go into a brother, and with the wrap, you're just gonna pop it, smack the area with a string like that, and then put it to a trapeze, and then bind. So, yeah, that's the trick. I hope you guys have a fun time learning, it's a pretty fun trick to do. Like, especially since I updated it, I actually kind of like it now. Like, <laughs> I, I won't do it. No, I'm going to do it. But, since I updated it, the trick became a little more fun. Because it's a little more hop in it. And hopefully it scores better than my other one. So yeah, that's today's um, video. Tell me what you guys want next in the next video. And yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.